Hi everybody, this is uh, Fluffy again, and um, because a couple of weeks actually, quite a while, I've been working on overhauling my Enhanced Tabs mod, and I'm now, well it's halfway done, because I've got the Work Tab overhaul. And the Animals Tab I haven't touched yet, I uh, still want to do that, but um, yeah, it's not going to be quite as much work, so it should be finished quicker. Anyway, I, I wanted to show you the Work Tab, because I've uh, been working on a couple of new things. So. Um, First of all, this is uh, it's, it's open here. I've created a quick little uh, yeah, colony in, in death mode, and um, so it looks fairly familiar to, to most of you. There's a couple of buttons missing, which I'll explain in a little bit, and the uh, the overview tab should uh, should be familiar to everybody. So first of all, a couple of things you could do with my old version that you can still do is you can sort by skill. So for example, if you're a doctor, and for all this this stuff. It's all really nice. Um, you can enable and disable with holding down shift and left mouse button and right mouse button. And I've added a few new things as well. So you can now also see the pawn's current mood. I've just booted this game so they're not doing much yet. Let's let it run for a little bit. And you can, their mood gets updated. Uh, you can see, you can also sort by that. It's really useful to see which ones are about to break and it shows their current activities and well there's nothing to do in this little test colony so they're all just wandering around and again you can sort by that it's not particularly useful at the moment but okay um let's go into numeric priority modes another little change that i wanted you to see you now have nine categories to use I want to make this editable, I want to make it um, able to go back to 4. Um, the backend is there, I just need to make the, the mod configuration menu, but probably by the time you see this that will, will be there. And uh, you just have to open the, the options menu here and then um, yeah, go to fluffy tabs and there will be an option there to, to switch that on or off or say how many categories you want. There will be a maximum of 9 because double digits in there just doesn't work. But, okay. So, as with a sorting you can also do an entire column, you can increase them, decrease them by using the scroll wheel or left mouse right mouse button. If there's any differences there, I, I quite like this. Um, you could, for example, if, if it's, um, let's say it's currently disabled for everybody, except for a couple of people, and you want to enable it for everybody, you can just go down a little bit and go back up or whatever, and you can just enable it for everybody. It's, it's really quite useful uh, for a lot of things. Simply, so you usually want everybody to have bed rest, so you can just do it like that. Um, then there's the presets, so you can create favorites, um, I call them, you click the mouse button, create a new one, let's call this one, um, I don't know, Slacker, no, I think I already have Slacker, let's call it something else, um, doo -doo -doo -doo, lazy, you give it an icon, again you can just move the mouse wheel to do this, I can use the, the little buttons, and he's, uh, well, he's a star. Let's give him a medal. You can see it there. He's currently assigned the favorite lazy. And you can select something else. I did a couple of other ones uh, before. But yeah. Just do it like that. That doesn't actually appear to work. Awesome. Good to know. I'll fix that before it gets to you guys. Um. Alright. That's... The basics, that's what was already there with a couple of uh, small changes. Now let's get to the more interesting stuff. I'm going to what I like to call Dwarf Therapist mode. So for those of you who've played Dwarf Fortress, this should be fairly familiar. It's basically the therapist tree, but you can get it. For those of you who haven't, go play it, it's an awesome game. Um, so what you've got here is all of the, the little jobs that are in the work types. So they're color-coded and they correspond to the work types that you see here. So for example, cook. It's also in here. Uh, I have to look a little bit. Yeah, here we go, cook. So that's the, you know, I don't know, the slightly darker green one. Um, so there's several jobs that are actually part of the cooking work type. So you're cooking the meals at the stove, at the campfire, brewing stuff, butchering, and filling up food hoppers. So normally these would always happen in left to right order. Now, because you can change them separately, you can change when they occur. So you can make that one occur, you can make a butcher before they brew, butcher before they cook, which could be quite useful. 
You can also, for example, in the, uh, the medical one, you can make a bomb to all of the medical jobs. Except for operations. So this guy isn't very skilled in medical, so we may not want to have them do operations. Which is entirely possible. It will work, no problems. Um, you do need to be a little bit careful, because for example, um, for construction, you need to have some of these other stuff. So you need to have like construct place frames and deliver resources and deliver resources to frame and blueprints um, in order to for the, um, the the construction actually to work. So this is where they actually construct it. It's a higher priority. Um, but if this never happens, then that can't ever happen. So it, it, it might, yeah, some situations it might be a good idea to to have different pawns do different things. So have your haulers, for example, do the hauling to the uh, the frames, and then have a constructor only do the actual constructions. It might be actually quite useful. Um, but do make sure that there is actually that there. So this gives you a lot more uh, ability to fine tune stuff. It also gives you a lot more ability to screw stuff up. So be a little bit careful. With that. Um, there's a lot of rolling categories which you can also change all of them. It's just quite useful. And again, the priorities here work exactly the same way. So you can assign in your favorites. Okay. And then you can assign it to somebody. Um, oh yeah, I just assigned something I created earlier. Change something, create a new one, uh, assign it somewhere else. Beautiful, that works. So that's a way to quickly copy and paste pawn jobs and it gets stored and you can reuse it later on in the same game again. Um, I haven't quite worked out um, yeah, exporting them between games. I might still get to that. I'm not sure how useful it's actually going to be because it's not that difficult to set these things up. But, oh. And then finally, um, another quite neat feature, which uh, really complicates things, but it, it can be incredibly powerful. So you have a time scheduler. So at the bottom here, you have this, yeah, this time bar. So it shows an entire day from midnight to midnight again, noon in the middle. And this will be um, localizable. It's, it's, it is actually localizable, but again, I just need to add the option there. And so for Americans, it will be 12 a.m. and whatever, all that jazz. Um, so what you're seeing here is a little pin that says what time it currently is, and if you're and a little pin for what you're looking at. So if it's the same as the time that it currently is, the, the looking at pin doesn't show. But if you're focused on something else, then there's an extra little pin there, and everything is now selected, which means that if we edit something, it is edited for the entire day. If we deselect something, so you can use the right mouse, right mouse button to just click and drag it. So say, for example, we only want somebody to do something from 8 to 10. And we want them to clean. Everybody cleans from 8 to 10. This is a new rule in our calendar. And you can do that. So now this is selected, so it only applies to those two hours. We're looking at one of those hours so we can see it. There's also a little icon there now showing that this is sometimes true. If you hover over it and it says like, okay, this is true at those times. It doesn't distinguish between different priority levels because Fuck me, how am I going to show that? But yeah, it, it at least gives a little bit of an indication. If you look at another time zone, so for example there, it's not currently enabled. And if we just let it run, so if we click this again, then it defaults to showing whatever the current time is. I should have picked something earlier, but if we just let it run for long enough, then at some point, everybody will start cleaning. There we go. You can see it. The test colony is a lot of filth there. Now everybody's starting to clean it, and then at 10, they'll stop again. So there we go. Well, and it's also actually sleeping time, so they actually start sleeping, but trust me, they would stop. Um, and they don't just drop their work, by the way, which is thankfully not something I've had to code in myself, but they actually finish whatever they were doing at the time, at the time and then uh, when they look for a new job, it's just not, cleaning is not allowed anymore, so they, they find something else. Um, so, one word of warning with this, it can get a little bit complicated with the time zone stuff. So, what you're looking at and um, what you're editing is not always like necessarily the same. So, if, for example, we now edit this guy to... Um, 
it, it, it is currently not enabled. If we set it to be enabled, so we set it to 9, we used to have it at 1 and 8, but that's now also 9. That's because um, it just, whatever you're looking at and what you're changing there, it copies that to everything you've got selected, so everything that's yellow here. Um, again, this is something I would like to maybe do differently, and I'm very open to suggestions, but this is just the only way that I could make it work in a, in a quicker way. Because um, you do want to be able to set stuff for multiple hours at once, and there's just no way you can you can fit all of these different time zones into the screen. You need a third dimension to go there. So, yeah, I don't really know how to do that. Well, I have one idea, but it's, it's a complete rewrite, and I'm, I don't think I'm going to do that. So. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I'm very open to suggestions on how to um, how to work these more complicated things in. So for the, the the tabs and like maybe make it more clearer what belongs where or, or some ideas on how to do this time management stuff better. Um, the favorite stuff is is sort of I, I still have some ideas about how to improve it. So I'm still going to work on that. Um, but again, any other ideas more than welcome. Please put them on the um, the forum thread on Ludian studios and um, yeah have fun playing them all and please do try and break it and if it does break let me know so I can fix it all right thank you and bye bye, bye.